Hey yo, what up? It's the one and only hip hop gamer, Hot 97 GameStop Puzzles versus Dragons. Wait, is it Puzzles and Dragons or Puzzles and Dragons? Puzzles and Dragons. Now I got my man Daniel here. Now he's the true expert. All right, you know what I'm saying? He's the one that's gonna brag, but he's gonna try to be modest about it. So first off, before we talk about the Super Mario edition yep. and stuff like that, I want to know like the brain behind it all. Like, how did you even come up with this concept? Give me like like you sitting at home like yo, we gotta do this or something like that. How did this all come about in your opinion? Um, well, okay, it's a game from Gung Ho, a Jap Japanese company made this game. Right. They made Puzzle and Dragon Z and then they're now making Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition, right. um, which are now both available, will be available in Japan soon, but for the United States here, we get them both on one cartridge, which they don't get in Japan, which is great for us. And it was just a collaboration that came up between Gung Ho and Nintendo Ooh. to decide to make the game for the Mario Edition side, and then when they made the Puzzle and Dragon Z version, they wanted to make something for the, 3D, the Nintendo 3DS. So that's why they made that one as well. Right. Now, now, that makes sense. Now, when you talk about when we was watching a demonstration, one thing that I thought was so dope is your power up skills. Like the way you got the power up and the skill ups and stuff like yes. that. That right there was fire because it made me feel that there was so much more to the game, like right off the bat. I was yes. like, yo, that's crazy. So walk us through that and how that works. Right. So basically, in the Super Mario Brothers edition, um, you, you go to the Toad House. So Toad becomes Toad your man. House. Yeah, the Toad House is your main guy there. And in the Toad House, you have the ability to do something like transformations, which you mentioned, mm -hmm. the skill up or the power up, and that's where you can basically use items that you earn to transform your character into new versions so you can turn a Goomba into a Paragoomba, a Piranha Plant into a Bone Piranha Plant, a Buzzy Beetle into a, a Parabeetle, all these different kind of transformations that you can go through. And then on top of that, you can also use items to do skill up, like the skills you mentioned, which take a certain number of turns to use, you can lower that turn base down. So instead mm -hmm. of 10 turns, it goes to 9, to 8, to 7, working your way down. And there's also the power up where you can actually transfer experience from one ally to another to help speed up the, the speed up the leveling up process as well. Yeah, and that's all crazy. So now I'm gonna tell you this, right? In terms of the Wii U and stuff like that, will we see a Wii U edition of this game for the big screen? So it's like family fun across the whole, you know, living room and stuff like that. Would is that like at all consideration? What's up? For right now, no. Right now we're just focusing on the Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle and Shoot Mario Brothers edition. Which for the Nintendo oh. 3DS, okay. which at the same time, even people playing here have been watching other people play and giving advice and like that. So it's still the Good. same way to play that, especially on the bigger screen with the three, new Nintendo 3DS yes. XL, which Incredible. I love. Yes. Incredible. Like, that, I was telling David, I was like, all the variations that you guys came out with over the years in terms of handhelds, like, you guys run this market. It's crazy. I just can't wait to see what the next edition is going to be. I can't wait to see what you guys do. I know E3 is coming, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, E3 is coming. Yeah, uh, E3 is coming. Uh, and they're always working on the next. I mean, that's always the concept. Yeah. There's always working on the next thing. I mean, the new 3DS XL just came out, which is an awesome piece of hardware. The 3D is awesome on there. The, the C-Stick, that little additional C-Nub stick up there, which has been great to use as well for different games. And what's great about this game in particular, it works on all the 3DS family games. So the 2DS, the 3DS XL, the 3DS, and the new 3DS XL. Now, in the Super Mario Bros. Edition, will we see, like, more than just, you know, like, Mario in terms of, like, people that you can select and stuff like that to do stuff with? Because, I mean, why not have a Yoshi? Why not have you know, all this other stuff. Uh, you smiled. What's going on? You saw that? Yep. You saw that, right? Yep. All right, cool. What, 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 let's talk. No, because because Yoshi does become available. So the helpers. So there's Toad as a yeah. helper. Yoshi becomes a helper available in the game later on as well. Wow. So what does he do? Like, like the, walk us through. Yeah, experience like, he, has oh, different, okay. he has different skills. Sa same idea. Like, he has different skills that help you out. Okay. There's also a mode called Score Attack. Okay. And in Score Attack, you have a chance to actually play with, um, what do you have to in, in the hardest difficulty, you get to use Rosalina. You get to use um, Bowser Jr. in there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so some other character. But it, that, that's in the Score Attack mode, so you can use that in that area. Okay. Now, one thing I wanted to commend you guys on is when I played the game, and I was telling David how addictive it was very fast, um, Tetris, that's one of my you know, favorite games, and I also love Super Puzzle, Street Fighter, those type of games as well. You know what I'm saying? I love those games, but when I see this one, I see like elements of those games, but taken to like times 20, like to a whole nother yes. level and stuff like that. So how deep does this game go in terms of the complexity on how you would, you know, actually win your battles? Because there's times where I'm playing it and I'm getting all these combos and it's great and I'm winning, and then there's times where I'm like, oh shoot, I made a mistake. So what would you tell gamers to focus on? Like, like when you're, yeah, like walk us through that because it can it gets challenging dog real it talk it does and it varies I mean when you start in the earlier stages you only have three there's usually there's up to five colored orbs that exist right. in the early stages you only have three so it's easier to make more combos 
As you get further, when you have more colored orbs, it's harder to get those random drops to happen to work out for you. Okay. And the other thing that makes it tricky, that makes, not tricky, but that opens people's minds a bit more, is that when you start dragging the orb, it's not just moving it one spot over, it's, you know, so you could drag it all over the screen for up to five seconds. And it's the path the orb takes matters. Because every time it touches another orb, it switches places. And then, yeah, and and then yeah. So no, but it, it it varies for each person. Like when you start playing, you got to grasp the first kind, like how to make make the, the the orbs match up, the changing to create. Then when you get further, you start noticing how to get better combos, how to make different skills, like beginner skills, intermediate skills, advanced skills, and everyone takes everyone takes their time getting to that level. I've seen other people. Who, I I'm, I think I'm good at the game. I've seen people who are amazing at the game, who literally see the screen and they see like 30 combos when they just look at the screen. They see it. I see like five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite up to that 30 level combo, but yeah, some people see these huge combos and that's where it is. And it's more through practice. Mm. But it's at the same time, as you said, it's also using those skills you have available to you at the same time. It's choosing your team composition. All these things are important in how they all play together. No, that's crazy. So does this have an online component? Uh, not, not, the online component, the only way the online component really works is in the Puzzle and Dragon Z side. Okay. There is some online distribution content that we'll be giving out. Um, it's, it's, it's not paid for, it's for free. Okay. So don't worry about that. We haven't really released the details of how it's going to happen yet. Okay. Um, um, and there's also street pass functionality. Mm. So street pass is good. So when you when you're jump when you're choosing your helper in either game Z in Puzzle Dragon Z or Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Brothers Edition, right. when you have when you street pass someone, if you set up your way, you I, you can choose what help what characters to share via street pass. So when I'm when I choose my helper, I can see your character there and use him. Yo, damn, damn son, like yo, this, this is this is crazy. Now it's just amazing how like where gaming is. Like you know what I'm saying? That that's what get me excited every time I do it interviews like just seeing where gaming is and stuff like that so for my for my last question probably won't be my last question yeah. but but for my last question regarding like this game and the way it all came together and stuff like that right now I know May 22nd yes. the game is coming out but I know 29.99 crazy so my thing is I get excited about all of these things but I always get excited about once I see an idea like this what's the next step do you think that the, well the success of this game bring upon Puzzle Dragons Two or uh, either even more variations using Nintendo licensed characters, like will we see a Zelda version of this? Like you know what I'm saying? Talk to me. What's up? No, I like the idea. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's up to see how the game does. Hopefully, everyone else here is going to pick up the game and start really liking it and it turn into a huge phenomenon. We'll see, and then we'll see what the next steps are. We'll go from there. Right, cool. But look, man, this is my man Daniel. Crazy puzzles and dragons is going to be crazy fun. And like my man David said, May second, Floyd Mayweather, Mandy Pacquiao. That's the fight. <laughs> But May 22nd is going to be the fun. Let's get it popping, man. Hot 97, GameStop, Hip Hop Gamer. Shout out to my boy Critical Eye on the side right here. And shout out to my boy Adam holding the camera, holding me down. I love y'all. God bless. This is how we do, man. BT, stay tuned.